Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not uh, resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. This, uh, uh, the, Your messages could be there. Okay, so Aries, I feel like... Um, I feel like you are talking with somebody. I feel like uh, maybe maybe you've been talking with this person for some time. Maybe um, maybe you are longing uh, to be with this person or to start something with this person. You're longing maybe to get news uh, or some type of revelation from this person with regards to feelings, to how they feel. I feel like there are some doubts and uh, misgivings about this connection, uh, a feeling perhaps. Um, I feel like you want to get the larger or the bigger picture um, as to what this person's intentions really are and how they really feel um, you f may feel like this information is being kept hidden from you even so there's an element of um, mistrust here because uh, I don't think that you really know this person and so they, there is some misgivings I feel about meeting up with this person because I feel like this is what it is about I feel like they want to meet up with you mm -hmm. um, I feel like uh you want to uh, clear out any doubts and uh, find out the truth uh, about how this person feels. And, and to that end, you may feel like you're down on your luck. Um, you want them to clear this up for you, I think, because you recognize with justice being above you here, uh, that there could be a consequence uh, for uh, meeting up with this person or getting into a, a relationship with this person, actually committing yourself to this person, that there is this possibility here that the person is playing mind games with you and that you could get your heart broken because that Three of Swords has not yet happened. Uh, it is looking for a victim. And uh, not to say that that is what's going on, but uh, that is what you want clarity about. What are their intentions? How do they really feel? So you're wishing for them to come and clear this up for you, uh, to give you that bird's eye view, so to speak, um, so you can feel confident or comfortable in making this decision to meet up with this person yeah see you don't know how to proceed because you kind of feel that it's risky the fool's in the, in the reverse i i feel like um you i feel like you want to go to this meeting um you you want to be with this person or be in a relationship with this person. But at the same time, maybe with the high priestess here, intuitively, maybe you f might feel that something's off. And so you are wanting uh, to get clarity on that. Yeah, see, uh, nine of wands is over here also at the bottom of the deck. So, and uh, you see the wolf coming through the boundary. So, uh, I, I feel like um, this is what you fear. That they're hiding their true feelings and that they indeed are the wolf, you know. It's like the wolf in sheep's clothing, so to speak. Um, 
And so, see, you're very, very burdened by this. You don't really know what to think about this person and you don't really know if you should go and meet up with this person. That's what this is all about. It's getting that clarity and feeling confident in your decision to get into the relationship or into a relationship uh, or even to meet up with this person. I think that you don't really feel grounded or comfortable because Temperance has both of her feet in water when she's looking at this uh, justice card. And I, I think that the consequences are that she's going to get hurt. And this is what uh, she feels that they could be lying because the King of Swords is in the reverse. And that she'll end up getting hurt. So, you know, she's hesitant. This bridge is an actual, or can, well, it can be many things, but in this case, I feel like it, it's an actual meeting place because we also have the Six of Swords uh, going off in the, in, the, in the night or the evening hours uh, to meet somebody, possibly, because this is a meeting place. But you're carrying all the worries with you. So what you want is to take care of the worries before you leave, really. You want, you want some answers before you actually meet them. Because that's it. You're afraid of what you're going to receive. You're not sure about this, this offer or what they are offering you. That's it. You don't know what they're offering you because the book is here. So, you know... You may be asking this person uh, some, you know, uh, some very uh, hard questions, you know. Um, but, you know, I mean, online, I mean, you don't know when they're writing things. You can't see the face, um, you know, which I feel is all important. You, it's only, well, you could see the face, that's true, you could see the face. I'm sorry, I don't do the <laughs> online chats, but yes, you can. Uh, so it's important that, in that case, when they give you an explanation, or when, when you ask these uh, very difficult, or pose these very important, let's say, important questions to this person, um, it's funny I use that word difficult because I'm thinking that maybe they uh, might find it difficult to answer those questions. And in that case, uh, you need to really listen to your intuition. Um, hmm. And so um, it's important that when uh, you ask these questions that you are able to visibly see their face. So, um, uh, in maybe if, if that's possible to do online, to know if they're telling the truth or not. Or just, like I said, follow that gut feeling. What is your gut telling you, you know? And so... Um, here we have the uh, the cross, which is a, a lot of burdens and uh, can speak to the consequences of our actions. So again, that comes back to justice. That you're very worried about the consequence of your action. If you're not sure about this, if you're really not sure about meeting this person, then you shouldn't meet them. That's, you know, because we got hidden fears over here. Things in the dark again. Things in the dark. So it, it's very possible they are hiding uh, their true intentions from you. So unless you actually really feel comfortable with, the, with meeting this person and confident, uh, then I wouldn't do it. But I mean, it's your choice, right? Because what I see here uh, is that you're not trusting them. 
what I'm afraid of is that you're going to go anyway because that Six of Swords is here. You're not trusting them and maybe you feel like, uh, it's almost like you're expecting them to do something. And with the High Priestess here, you, uh, again, it could be saying that you don't have all of the information. It could be that with the High Priestess, that you never, you just kind of jump in uh, and uh, don't ask these questions or don't, don't um, because she's not talking her. She's quiet. She's playing her cards close to her chest, so she's not talking. So for some of you, you might just jump in and go to that meeting. I don't recommend the, doing that, but, you know, it is ultimately your choice in the end. But that's what this is about. This is about getting your answers. I have a feeling myself, what I'm picking up psychically, is that they are hiding something. That... Uh, that uh, their intentions may not be, you know, uh, what you are hoping for. So I, I, I get more of a player energy here on this person. Somebody who will um, tell you things and maybe they really feel something in the moment, but it won't last long. So, um, I feel like something will come out because the black cat uh, is telling you that you will get your answers. But it, it, al it also tells you to avoid any unnecessary risks at this time. So... Um, uh, if I were you, I would hold off until you're comfortable uh, or until you get the information or the answers to the questions that, that you have. Because it's telling you, you know, avoid any, any unnecessary risk, but it's also telling you that you will soon get your answers. The black cat... Uh, which is another thing that makes me very wary of this person. The black cat can be something dark that crosses your path. That would be this person. Yeah. And you may not see it, but you may very well feel it. And if you are feeling it, then you need to cut all communication with this person. Ultimately, in the end, it's up to you. Um, I'm telling you what I see. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.